Hey, what's going on? Uh, so in this video, I just want to kind of do something real quick that would be an easy modification on the SHO here. <music> Of course, we all know that the factory setups on these cars are true cold air. Only gets air from the snorkel here and pulls it in from under here and behind the grill. So what I have noticed is when I have ran this intake with the snorkel out, it does seem to perform a little bit better. However, with the snorkel in, somehow it feels like the turbos load differently, but it did feel like with Without it, there was a little bit more breathing room, if you will, especially at higher RPMs. Problem with doing that is when you remove this piece, then you're just picking up the hot air right there, all in the engine bay, all that hot air, straight from that turbo right there, all the heat comes right here, right from the transmission. You're just picking up extremely hot air. So we all know that there is a little hole that goes down into the side of the fender here. I will show it better once I remove the air box, but it goes down into the fender where there is not so hot air. So what I'm going to do, that way I can keep the cold air properties of the factory air box, take a hole saw and cut a three or so inch hole here. And I have some universal plastic intake piping that I'm sure everyone is familiar with. And I'm gonna use that to route another inlet from the fender well, which will increase flow and also have another place to pull in um, more ambient temperature air. Beautiful thing is no need to run a filter because it's gonna be running underneath that filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna first take the car for a spin. I'm going to log IETs currently and see how long they take to kind of drop down after just normal driving. All right, so just doing some normal driving here. Uh, speed limits around 30, 35, 45 mile per hour on different, some of these different roads here. Not going super fast. I uh, just doing some casual driving. Uh, once I left the home, because the car was sitting in the sun, IETs were a bit high. Now I have my um, reader here and I'm going to show you uh, the temperatures um, as they are. Now be mindful, I'm reading, I'm reading the temperature at the airbox. The sensor right at the airbox. So it's IAT1. Um, and you might be asking, why don't you do that IAT2 as well? Because on these cars, I, IAT2s are mostly affected by the intercooler, which we all know sucks. So I am mainly just demonstrating if there's any effect, any difference in intake performance at the front end of the system with the modifications over factory. So we're sitting about 100 degrees, uh, intake temps, IET ones, ambience, 91 degrees. So we're about 90 degree, nine degrees off. Like I said, the car has been sitting um, in the sun baking. So a lot of the components in there are hot. Now I'm gonna get on the roadway here, get up the speed a little bit more highway speed and see if I can, if there's temps drop a little bit lower because what's happening on these systems is picking up air from the front of the car. As you're driving, it's almost like a ram air effect, right? It's push, it's help put, coax the air into the, to the intake. We have a little graph here that shows we give it a little juice. See, we were able to get IETs down to about ambient temperatures. If not, we, we probably can actually hit ambient temperatures. And that's with the factory, factory air box. Like I said, my gripe with the factory air box is not so much its ability to pull in cold air, but I do think that snorkel was a bit restrictive. IET2, so this is pretty much in the intake manifold itself. You can see there, we're about 131 degrees. It is freaking horrible, but that's what happens with these cars. Uh, I'm almost home, gonna park the car, and we're gonna get started with modifying the air mm -hmm. box. All right, so first things first, this is the hole where we will be going into. Not very big, but then again, we're not using a 
very big pipe. Um, so this is the piece I'm gonna use right here. Uh, so this is like one of those universal intake DIY pieces from Spectre Performance. This is theoretically gonna go there like that, and that's gonna go down into the fender. But I'm gonna just eyeball this. I want it to be a little bit lower. There we go. I got the beautiful hole. <laughs> hole in my air box. And let's see if this actually fits, shall we? Go ahead and stuff it in, give it a little, little wiggle. See if she fits in there snug. And would you look at that? Look, it's like it was uh it was meant to be like that. Look at that. That's uh that's some ingenuity there for you. It ain't perfect, but it will work. It's probably gonna take some finessing, but you can see, still look all the way down in there. It's going down into the hole in the fender. All right, so this is about the same spot where I was last time, so the same amount of distance and time um, on the first drive I've taken. It's still 91, as you can see there. Right now, we're at 99 degrees. Now I'm just cruising very slowly, not giving any throttle, not pulling in a lot of air. It's so far about the same as uh, the factory box with just the factory inlet. Um, so I'm going to just kind of go around the bend here on the faster part of the road I was on, same part of the road, same route I took last time. Now we're up to about the same speeds and our temps have dropped to about 95. Let's see, I'm gonna give a little bit of throttle here. Drop down to 93. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, we got down to about 93. So, well, this is actually a good thing. So, while I'm not really maintaining cooler air, I'm still maintaining the same air the same cooler air closer to ambient temperature coming in while also increasing the amount of flow to the air box. That was kind of the main goal because what happens if you just take out the, the factory uh, snorkel, um, you're just getting all air from the air uh, engine bay. So you increase your flow, but then you also increase the amount of heat you're sucking in. So now I'm pulling from two places as picking up more ambient temperature air. I'm increasing my flow and I've maintained the same properties as the factory air box. That is what I wanted. That is exactly the effect I wanted. We are looking at the SCT device again. We see that uh, actually at part throttle, our IETs are, IET2s are a couple degrees less than they were before with uh, very minimal throttle. So I'm gonna just give it a little bit of throttle, um, spool the turbos a little bit, and see if we can get these this down a little bit more. Yeah, wow, that actually made a hell of a difference. Um, that dropped a lot lower than it did before, and it's still the same temperature outside. Outside temperature hasn't changed. Uh, the only thing I changed was adding that other source of airflow to the box. That's it. So that's actually kind of good data. But so far, it's been a success. It's pretty easy, you can do it very cheaply. Cool, until the next one.